This is the biggest mall in Arizona, and in this video, I'm gonna show you around. This is Scottsdale Fashion Square. It's in the metropolitan neighborhood of Phoenix. We're starting here at the food court that I'm gonna come back to at the end. I just thought this escalator rising scene was cool. This mall has over 200 shops and restaurants along three floors, starting from that lower level where we started this, this now being the first level, a second level that we'll walk on and though I really think it's called number three. This, in addition to being the biggest shopping mall in Arizona, is definitely one of the most highest end, particularly in this section on the right. We've got one of the anchor stores. There's a Macy's down there, but we've got Rolex, Versace, Michael Kors, Chanel, all of the high-end luxury goods that any resident or even any international traveler might be looking for. This mall just underwent a significant renovation. I was here just about a year ago and it definitely did not look as bright or as nice or have as much kind of like cool common furniture here in the middle. Like this is a really neat seating area down here. There's some comfy chairs. There's some kind of like desert plants and up in the ceiling, you can't tell because it's nighttime right now. Those are actually skylights across the top that lets in light into this whole thing. So pretty nice to walk around in the daytime too. We've got Bulgari on the right, Golden Goose on the left and uh, there's some kind of like light piano music playing in the background. I don't think there's anybody like actually playing the piano, uh, but because they just finished the remodel, there are still some stores that are empty, as you'll see as we go around Ferragamo on the left. Bottega Vanita, a big coach store, and then one of the big anchor department stores, Dillard's, all the way in the back that we are getting closer to as we walk this way. There's kind of a neat illuminated column up in this section. It looks like a little bit like a tree from Dr. Seuss. You can see they've got neat chandeliers that are up there on the top as well. Over here, there's a Neiman Marcus, which at seven o'clock on a weekday is already closed. Cartier also already closed. I guess it's kind of like an upscale fashionista sort of place. There are some of these that close earlier than usual. The mall itself closes at about nine o'clock on uh, most general weekdays. All right, going up the escalators here at the end. Nice quiet escalators. I go to a lot of malls and so I comment on that because sometimes you get to escalators that are like filthy and noisy. I like the walls right here. They make me feel like I'm in like an acoustic studio of some sort. All right, turn the camera back around again. The elevators also have these neat like signs to tell you what's on each floor. These things are actually kind of like cutouts of the letters. So that's pretty cool. Nobu, maybe we'll see a Nobu as we walk around and what have we got over here we've got some graphics telling us that this store sells some high-end men's suits made to measure it looks like i was gonna say it looked almost looked like you could get a kilt if you want to although i i don't think that's the case this is nick's menswear a proud partner of the phoenix suns neiman marcus up on the second floor entrance some store yet to come right here on this corner. Now, many people say that malls in the USA are dying, but in many malls like this one, still vibrant, still busy. Although you're like, Chris, the second floor doesn't look that vibrant and that busy. It's a Monday night, close to closing time. So that's why there's not many people here come on a weekend and it becomes much, much more busy. Uh, we've got Journeys over here, which is a casual shoe store. We've got Real Therapy Arizona, Real Therapy, Retail Therapy Arizona, that looks like your standard gift shop of all the Arizona souvenirs you might want to bring home. Over on the left, there's a T-Mobile shop, which is my cell phone provider of choice. What do I like about T-Mobile? Uh, international data in a whole bunch of countries, unlimited international data. It's kind of slow, but you don't have to pay any more money, so I like that part of it. 
clears, which is probably where many teenage girls go to get their ears pierced for the first time. They do free ear, pi ear piercing right here. I don't know that the ear piercing is free. They had a sign that said free earrings for a year. I did not check in on the details, but I'm going to assume that is if you pay to get your ears pierced, then you get your free earrings for a year. Hollister, which is a uh, famous surf inspired clothing store of the world of Amber Crombie and Fitch. Hollister is actually a town in California. We probably missed out on Prada down below as we were walking the other direction. That escalator is where I started our walk from the food court that was two levels down. We'll take a view of that from up here, but we'll also get down to it as we get to the end of this tour. This is definitely like the central hub of the mall, big three floors. There's a spinny, rotatey sign right there that's pretty neat. I'm gonna go ahead and cut over to the other side because we've been walking on this right side enough. We've got a K Jewelers, which is a very typical American mall jewelry store. Steve Madden for women's shoes. Uh, over on the right, there's Victoria's Secret and then Pink by Victoria's Secret, more like actual clothing, less of the underwear variety. American Eagle Outfitters, another Abercrombie and Fitch style store, just everything American wear. Uh, this mall is set up roughly like a T, so it is at this point that if we will look down to the right, then there's another whole wing that goes over this way that we'll explore in just a little bit. And uh, looking over here, we have, guess, we have Zara. This is one of OC Girl's favorite stores in the fast fashion world that is likely eating the lunch of the Amber Crombie and Fitches and the Gaps. Zara and Forever 21, I think, have taken the U.S fashion world by storm. We got a soda machine over here. How much do you think a soda costs at this vending machine? Let's see if you want to get a Coke or Diet Coke is it maybe $2 reasonable price. It takes credit cards too. One central elevator, a couple elevators on either side as well. Little escalators to bring you down to this level because this section of the mall, the floors are just a little lower than in that original section of the mall. We got vans for their shoes. We got lids for hats. Now, you're gonna be like, Chris, this section seems particularly less upscale than when you started less fashionable. And you're right, where I started the walk was definitely the highest end section of it. And then as we get this way, tends to be a little bit more uh, everyday, everyday American things although they still do have the advertisements for expensive watches and stuff like that in the middle. I do like the entrance right here to Shoe Palace. It's got like this mirrored entrance that's pretty cool. If you need glasses, we've got lens crafters. Oh, let's take a look at these shoes because they're, why are we taking a look at these shoes? Because they're yellow. Shoe Palace definitely has some of the best like displays that make their shoes look particularly appealing. Uh, but yeah, lens crafters is all of the, you know, you want special glasses because you, special glasses, because you need them to see, you know, but you want them in Oakley frames or Ray-Bans or things like that. Uh, H&M looks like they're opening up over here in this section. Charlotte Russe, generally for young women's clothing. We'll be coming up to the um, end of this tea soon. There is a movie theater over here by the name of Harkins. It looks like this H&M is gonna be two stories. You can tell this part of the mall not really remodeled yet. Uh, definitely the floors, much more the old school thing. Classic Cinnabon Auntie Anne's pretzels and cinnamon rolls. I like them, super delicious. We've got the Harkins movie theater, which is right back here, a big multiplex and how are we gonna get down? We'll get down this way. The escalator seems to be broken, but we'll go ahead and walk down. I need the exercise. Uh, general trend in a lot of movie theaters is the lack of people to sell you tickets. Like they expect 
people have bought the tickets online, although they still have a small ticket window and uh, ticketing concierge. But uh, yeah, definitely, definitely buy your tickets ahead if you want to go see a movie there and skip yourself the time waiting in line if there even is one. One of my pet peeves are places that can't maintain their escalators. So, so sad that uh, this doesn't work and I gotta, I gotta walk my way down. Electric cars are all the rage in the big metro areas of the USA. Lucid, one of the up and coming, up and coming electric car manufacturers. Uh, down this way, we'll just take a quick gander. There is Untuck It For Shirts, a Capital One Cafe, which is yes, a bank. But uh, if you have a Capital One credit card, you can get half price coffees in there. Big Apple store at the end. And a few more shops that way. Warby Parker, another sunglass store that's not sell glasses, but I think they sell optical glasses too. Uh, gonna be cheaper than lens crafters. Pinkberry was all the frozen yogurt range, range for healthy frozen yogurts. Now, seems like nobody goes to Pinkberry anymore. There is a branch of Shake Shack down this way, uh, which are pretty good burgers originating from New York City. Lululemon for athletic clothing. In the middle here, we got a place that sells macarons, French macarons. I feel like are all the dessert rage in the US. The little colorful cookie-like desserts. We can tell this floor, same as it was upstairs, this old school um, orange desert vibe, old brass colored railings. Uh, speaking of Amber Crombie and Fitch, no mall would be complete without a location of Amber Crombie and Fitch. And here we have an advertisement for Kung Fu Panda 4. Here, let's see if we can tap this to see the map of this place. Uh, so you can see right here, the T shape. We started here in the center of the food court. We walked over here to Dillard's. We walked over this way to the Apple store, the movie theater, and the T down that way. It goes to Nordstrom's. Pandora for jewelry on the right. Sephora for perfume uh, beauty supplies on the left. Sunglass Hut, if you want glasses that are just of the sunny variety. Uh, I like the name of this place, Psycho Bunny. I just think that's a cool name. Oh, here we have, uh, you know, this shop's gonna be coming here, but it's got a nice kind of like desert scene in front of it. The sign says new experience coming soon. That's a code word for nobody's rented this yet, I think. Uh, all right, which one of these escalators goes down? Uh, or do we wanna go down? Or do we wanna go up? You know what, let's go up first so that we can take a little bit view to the newest part of the mall over on the left. And then we will come back to the food court on the bottom. Or maybe we can view the food court as we're up from here. No, we'll view the food court better from the bottom. Okay, remodel, so you can tell the floors are nicer here. We've got a Gucci for all sorts of really fancy stuff. Oh, we didn't see Armani Exchange when we walked by that way. Zara's two stories, that's a big Zara, so we're walking above it. Down there, you can see a kind of Starbucks kiosk in the middle. Louis Vuitton always has really cool window displays. We're gonna take a little detour to the right. Louis Vuitton is actually two stores here. There's one over there, and there's one over here. And this part, I like how they've done the lighting in here. They've got this kind of like rail lighting at the top. They got plants over here. This section of the mall actually like goes over the valet entrance. So you can valet park your car down there. Uh, but the mall actually like extends over the valet parking area to make this T. It kind of like goes over the road this way. And we're probably not gonna go all the way down here, but we'll go a little bit down here. Um, just, uh, let's see, so you can see from here, there's a Nordstrom store all the way at the end. There's a Blue Nile for jewelry. There's a Tesla over here and uh, another store coming soon. All right, 
So we'll go back down yonder and let's go check out that food court. Plenty of place to sit, different here, not as funky, just a plain flat seat. But if you're with somebody else and you got tired, you got sore feet, you can absolutely uh, find plenty of place to hang out or walk your dog, as the case may be, through the mall. All right, coming down this escalator to the food court, we see another pretzel spot here in the middle. Is this an Auntie Anne's or is this a Wetzel's Pretzels? This is Wetzel's Pretzels. There are two big pretzel chains in the US, Auntie Anne's and Wetzel's. And you'll often find both of them in malls like you do here. Here's a little store that, I don't know, spiritual stuff? Like the Arizona area is really big on like healing and energy. And so this is the henna shop where you can get and in clothes and it really the incense in there really has quite a strong scent to it okay so taking a look over here first there's a scottsdale information desk in this corner so if you want to get you know your brochures about uh where should you go what should you do you can pick that up there i don't know what soap has to do with food but they probably ran in a restaurant, so they got soap there. We've got <clears throat> the Boba Tea Company. If you want some Boba Tea, it's fancy, but I've tried it here. In my opinion, not very good. Here's all the brochures, and uh, we'll come in here to take a look at Scottsdale. So this is the Scottsdale area. Phoenix Airport is right here. Sky Harbor International Airport, and... Uh, where are we in this thing? We are right near the Old Town, right about okay. here. Yeah, Osmo 2. Somebody walked by and said, is that the DJI? It sure is. We got a cool florist right here that's got little flowers around a truck. Oh, there's an ATM here that you can buy Bitcoin. If you've ever wanted to buy Bitcoin, you can do it right here. You can buy Bitcoins. And how much Bitcoin would you like to buy today? Do you want to buy $80,000 of Bitcoin? Sure enough. You can only buy, oh, only $50,000 of Bitcoin a day. So sad. Viore, coming soon, a athletic attire company. Apparently it looks like there's a new, uh, I'm gonna assume Caesars Republic is probably a new casino. Maybe it's just a new hotel or it's a new building. I don't really know, but they're hiring. So if you're looking for jobs in the Phoenix area, now you know. I like this place, they got this little M that's like, Kind of like a television sort of thing. They've got like basketball shows on the inside. Okay, so the traditional food court stuff over in here. Oh, this food court. There's a lot of parking garages around here. So, um, you know, plenty full free parking. You'll find the entrance to one of the parking garages just out yonder. We got a Five Guys here. Burgers and fries from the Washington DC area. Uh, they're famous for having their like sacks of um, potatoes out here that they're like, where are the potatoes from today? Uh, Idaho potatoes is where the potatoes are from today. Uh, Charlie's for cheesesteaks. I think they have pretty good cheesesteak sandwiches and fries. Mia pasta, if you want some quick serve pasta. Spaghetti, they cook it up to order. We got Johnny Rockets, an old school hamburger chain. Chipotle in the back if you're looking for a burrito for cheap. They're pretty big and tasty. We got Wonder Spaces over here, which is like a, I don't know, I could call it maybe like a selfie museum or modern museum where you can go in and see like all of this sort of like modern art in there. Definitely cost you a few bucks to go in there. That's not free. There's a theater down this way. A couple of vending machines over here in the back for ice cream, mini melts ice cream. And on this side, we have fired pie, which is like these uh, pizza pies that they make and cook up in about three minutes. Pita jungle for Mediterranean type food. Gyros, that store stuff. Panda Express, the American Chinese fast food restaurant. And if you feel like something healthy, you can get something here from Salad and Go, where you can order your salad from a tablet and you can get it to go. Well, fellow explorers, if your travels are bringing you to Phoenix, then you might enjoy checking out my Phoenix travel guide. You'll find it right here. 
or some of my other videos from Arizona, you'll find those on the screen. Two, as usual, I won't say goodbye because I'll see you in the next video.